Hey, here's a scaffolding I just put together for myself. So, I was adding some recess lights to this room, and since the ceiling's 18 foot, and I don't really have a ladder that can reach there, I needed a scaffolding system. So I put this together, it cost me about 100 bucks. Um, it was much cheaper than renting scaffolding. And also I can take this apart, reuse the wood, reuse the screws, so essentially it's free in a sense. Um, it's very stable, it's got wheels, and it's easy to roll around, and the way I got to the top is I just climb up the side. So I didn't record the entire process of putting this together, but I did get some photos so I can go through that and show you exactly um, what I did. And this isn't necessarily a step-by-step -step about how to build this scaffolding, but it should help give you some ideas in case you need to be build scaffolding specifically for uh, any project that you're working on. So as you can see in this first photograph, I just had a sketch up that I did on a post-it note and this is how I do a lot of my projects. I just kind of brainstorm exactly what I want to do uh, before I start the project and maybe price it out. And as you can see, as I started the project, I started with the uh, top platform and then also the base. The top platform had a few extra 2x4s in it um, and that was to help support the platform that would be above, which is going to be made out of OSB. I then turned the base and platform uh, on their sides and I added some 12 foot two by sixes and these would be the vertical supports. Then as you can see, I added the wheels to the bottom. Uh, on this photo, you can see that I added some side supports. So these crossing two by fours, those added in a, uh, quite a bit of support to the scaffolding and um, it was really noticeable after I added those. Although this looks like a pretty cumbersome scaffolding, it's actually fairly light and easy to uh, turn on its side. So as you can see here, I'm just flipping it up onto its side. Once I have it on its side, then um, I can tip it up uh, vertical. And uh, some of these maneuvers are probably a little easier with two people, but it can be done with one person. Another thing to keep in mind too is if your scaffolding is pretty heavy or too hard to lift with one person, you can always lift it vertical and then add additional pieces to it. After flipping it vertical, I climbed up on top just to test the stability and I realized I needed to add a little extra support to the climbing sides. So from this photograph, you can see I added an additional two by four uh, on the inside of the climbing stairs, and that added quite a bit of extra support. I also added the OSB at this point to the top platform, but I don't have a photograph of that. Uh, you can see me here up on top of the platform. It is very stable and it allowed me to put in some recessed lights and work on replacing the fan as well as refinishing some of the coffered ceiling and putting some new paint on. So I hope this was useful and I hope uh, some of you are able to get some ideas for any scaffolding that you may be building for any project that you're currently working on.